session to order. <coughs> Commissioners, uh, then item four for to be admitted for approval for your work session for your June 24th and your regular session session for June 25th. If you will have the opportunity to take a look at it. Any admissions or deletions, um, please see this page and we'll get that corrected for you. Agenda item five is going to be a public hearing. Um, REZ 2013-07, Leatherwood 2402 or 2406 James Road. Davenport? Yes, sir. What the applicant is asking for is to take a portion of his property, which is currently zoned R1 or R21 for one acre or half acre lots, cut up the rear portion. And it shows better on this survey where he wants to take the rear portion of this lot and because the county has water and sewer on James Road, he's able to subdivide at a greater density. So he wants to keep the existing house up front, put it on water and sewer, and then build a new house on that track A2, which would be the new lot. In order to do this, he has to rezone because he needs a smaller lot size. Staff looked at the request, uh, recommended for its approval, went to the planning commission, and some of the neighbors showed up with some concerns about not necessarily it fitting on the property because it physically will fit based on the evidence we have from the survey, but whether it'll fit with their neighborhood. Um, we've given to you in your packets an elevation of what Mr. Motherwood wants to build, which is approximately a 2,300 square foot house. So the lot size will be smaller, but the house will be comparable to what's in the area. The only update I, I, think, I, I think is worth reporting this morning is last week I received an email uh, from an attorney and, and manager almost representative in the area about a compromise and what they're proposing is that the neighbors will not oppose this case if Mr. Leatherwood agrees to abide by the covenants that they have on the northern side of the street or phase two of their development. Now what they're asking for Mr. Leatherwood is for him to sign this agreement they drafted up which Mr. Leatherwood has agreed to sign. How the county enters into this is because what they're asking from us is that we agree to put a condition on the rezoning about the covenants. And um, I have a, a little bit of a concern with that because I really don't want to be in a position, position of enforcing covenants on a property. We normally are not in that position. That's normally something that's handled by the property owners. So I don't know how far you want to take this, but they are waiting on a response from us. And I'm not sure if you'd rather take it up no condition or potentially put a condition on there. Maybe we have to wordsmith it and be very careful about he agrees to the covenants, but we don't enforce them. But that's the update we had last Wednesday. We got that email. And I confirmed that with Mr. Leatherwood. And now just looking for some direction about how to proceed to the commissioner that will be here for tomorrow night. But those are the updates. That's the concern. And I think that's the status of any questions for Mr. Davenport? I have several questions. Mr. Davenport. Yes, ma'am. With this exist, this uh, zone, yes, is it right across the street from the one that we had the problem with when we was when um, Habitat was trying to build a house here? And this yes. house is much smaller. And during the time when they was when that neighborhood was going through all of this rezoning with Habitat, all the questions because they didn't have to rezone. That's right. And it was my understanding that that property was already rezoned um, or as R10. The Habitat house did did have the zoning they needed. Um, but they didn't have the setback that they needed. Uh, they, they were able to build on their lot according to our regulations. Okay. Um, this house we anticipate to be larger than the Habitat house. Habitat house, I, I will double check those square footages, but it was not 2,300 square feet. That was not the size of the house. This house is larger, and the concern yes, about the neighborhood was about trying to keep the covenant that they have with the house size. Yes, ma'am. They were, they were concerned about the house size. Um, when Mr. Leatherwood indicated to us that he was going to build a house this large, we had some debate about whether or not we wanted to put a condition on it to make him do that, and we didn't go that far. He has indicated that and gone so far as to submit plans, which is in your packet for the house. And so the concern that the residents have to have is 
I, I think the residents want to make sure that Mr. Leatherwood, whatever he puts there, is compatible, if not better, than what they have. I think that's their company on concern. They just want to make sure that whatever he builds is consistent with what they have. So based on the based on the concerns that were voiced at the planning commission meeting, in your opinion, is the structure that he's talking about building now, does it satisfy those concerns? I think that um, he's going to have to modify the roof, which he's agreed to. There's something about the roof pitch that he's going to have to modify. I think it's going to have to be a steeper roof pitch. And if based on that change, yes, I believe it'll be consistent, if not exceed what they have in place for those cuts. Yeah, so you talk to Wickham, I think he's willing to meet all the demands that were requested by you. Yes, ma'am. And I spoke to him late um, Wednesday afternoon to confirm that he's aware of these negotiation and is willing to meet him. And he, he said he is. I've not seen the um, I've seen the agreement signed by basically the attorney who's involved. I've not seen it signed by Mr. Leatherwood, but he has verbally told me he would agree to this. Now, on yesterday, he expressed that. I talked with him and his family on yesterday. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Got one question. I, I really don't know much about the James Road issue besides, you know, I think we had developed it uh, to help accommodate the, the Bass Pro or what have you, they were 4.6 million years ago, but um, I wanted to know the extent of the covenant uh, when you're talking about on, on James Road, because I know my neighborhood has a covenant, but I couldn't imagine what it would be like with um, those type of houses across the street, but I mean, what's the extent? Uh, is it just that block or? If, if, if it's my understanding, it's the, it's just like your situation. It's the houses behind it. There, uh, that's the covenant. And that's the subdivision there that they're wanting him to meet those covenants. Is that correct? The these covenants are in place on. If you look on the zoning map where you see Jeff's Place, Jason Circle, and Holland Circle, those are the the lots that are under this current covenant. There's lots across the street on Lynn Haven that have a different set of covenants, but the ones they want them to comply to are along those three cul-de-sacs. And I think there's probably about three out of, we'll say, 15 houses that are built currently. There's really not a whole lot of development on the north side of these covenants apply. Those are the ones they've given us to say, here's what we want him to agree to. I think if we, I think if we got into the business of enforcing covenants, I don't think we could hire enough personnel to make sure that everyone's grass was cut just in the district two subdivisions that have covenants. So I, I know we're not voting on it this morning, but I don't have any interest at all in this this board enforcing yeah, enforcing covenants like that. Any other questions? Okay. Let's move on to agenda 